So stepping up in a, a bit of a different example, so something a bit more recent. So uh, we've got this lovely sort of Naughty Dog art by Edgar A. Martinez. Some buildings for The Last of Us uh, remastered, I believe. And if we have a look at this building, it's a little bit different. So it's a bit different from the examples we've just shown where, you know, you try and triangulate and make every vertex do a job. But the thing is, this in this in these messages, messages, every vertex is doing a job. Why are there so many evenly spaced quads? Why aren't these just optimized and triangulated into the corners? The reason is Naughty Dog use a lot of tileable textures and vertex blends, and they need to blend these across one another with height maps. And having enough vertex points also allows you to do that. It gives you a more consistency when blending. With the cloth simulation, it looks like this was maybe uh, decimated or maybe it was done by hand, but with cloth, because it's not really gonna move too much, you can optimize this uh, with a decimation master a lot of the time to save time. It's important to note, I'm trying to be fast here to get it under a minute 30, but there are triangulations on rounded edges. Have nice high poly rounded edges to avoid it looking gamey and put dense areas where damages, such as on these stairs. And when you kind of go out from these high poly shapes, make sure that you are optimizing and uh, triangulating where you can.